Hello YouTube! So, yeah, I know it's been a while since I posted, and I'm really sorry about that, but I uh, thankfully have a lot more time, and I'll be moving to a new place soon, so hopefully that will, um, I guess, inspire me to make more videos, plus I am actually more motivated to do so. So, yeah. Um, today, I thought what I would do, and also FYI, I'm doing this completely unscripted, and I'm just saying something off of my head. Uh, I thought I would talk about something that, you know, is relatively not new, but I guess it's getting more, you know, attention, and that would be gray sexuality, and, you know, on a much broader spectrum, you know, and then I talk about identity! So, yeah. So, Let's get started. So, you may or may not have heard about gray sexuality. There actually is an article on the Huffington Post about it. Uh, for those of you who don't know about it or don't necessarily understand what it means, so when you like someone or you're interested in someone, you know, I want to make it very clear. You should separate. For this explanation, I'm going to separate uh, sexuality or sexual attraction and romantic attraction. So, you know, because sexual is completely physical, whereas romantic is emotional. And so with great sexuality, it is completely physical and sexual. So, based on my knowledge, great sexuality is where one's, I guess, sexual attraction to someone is basically kind of like an on-off switch. So, it's basically like... You know, at times, you're really into someone physically, and you know, you kind of, you know, want to do stuff with him or her, and then other times, it's just, it just doesn't work, you know, and based on what I've learned, it's all completely natural, there's nothing, I guess, in a sense, conscious about this, you know, because when you're dating someone, you wouldn't want to be not turned on, I guess, but, you know, the body responds differently. I guess to me, it's kind of like watermelon. Okay, I proceed do not like watermelon at all. The taste of it, to me, is really nasty. And even though I think in my head, like, oh, I just really want to like watermelon so people can stop, you know, giving me so much, you know, crud about it, I can't, you know, force myself to like it if I don't like it. No matter how much I think in my head, oh, I'm going to like this. So, with great sexuality, you know, sexual attraction just works like that. And how I further defined it is great sexuality, it's on a spectrum. So using sexuality, there is, you know, sexual, which is, you know, what most humans are. And then there's asexual, which means, no, it is not, you know, asexual reproduction, but asexual in the terms of where there is, where there is little to no sexual attraction at all to anyone. So to me, great sexuality is somewhere in the mid, is somewhere in between these two. I'm not going to say it's right in the middle. And, you know, for each person, it varies. You know, it can lean a little bit more towards the asexual asexual side, or it can lean more towards the sexual side. Doesn't really matter. Either way, great sexuality is somewhere in between there. So, the reason why I'm bringing this up is I think it's re really interesting you know, to learn about this. Because, you know, I, I just never realized that, you know, other people, you know, have different ways of... I guess approaching things and identifying themselves and I guess now kind of overlapping it to the whole idea of identity I was when I read that article about great sexuality on the Huffington Post I was honestly fairly surprised about the amount of backlash that that article got I mean you know there are people you know just saying it like oh you know in my times great sexuality wasn't a thing and there was only male female gay and straight and, you know, and then people are like, oh, you know, like, labels don't matter. Like, what does it matter if, you know, you and just to me, it's just, it's just mind boggling just because, you know, yes, I can understand that, you know, labels, you know, are not necessarily definitive and, you know, people aren't, are definitely not constrained by their labels or, you know, their, I guess their identity markers, but you know, to me, personally, those comments just felt like more of, like, attacks and loathing and scathing, where I'm just thinking, 
why don't we just encourage each other, you know? Or at least be tolerant, if anything, just because, you know, everyone has disagreements, you know, and not everyone's bound to like you. But that doesn't mean, you know, you have to go out of your way to let someone know that you don't like them. Rather, I rather think that energy should be used in letting people you do like, you let them know that you like them. So, and, you know, going back to like on that, that example I said earlier, yes, back then, you know, there were relatively, I guess in a sense, definitive labels, but, you know, nowadays, everything's so broad and, you know, different, it's just like, I don't understand why you're so judge or why you're being so judgmental about it. You know, it's just kind of thing about back then racial, you know, racial identity. Most people honestly just think of black and white, but you know, when you when you think about it, you know, there are other different types of races out there. You know, like Asians, you know, like myself, and Middle Easterns, and Mexicans, and Hispanics, and all that stuff. So, you know. And even me myself, I'm just now discovering that like even within my own racial, you know, within my own race are different types of Chinese people. You know, I my family's from Canton, but you know there are mainlander China Chinese people, and there are people from like Fujian and Tetsuo. So it's just like, you know, just just learn about it, understand that you know. Not everyone, I guess, has to conform to what is, you know, societal norm or, you know, societally common, you know. So, you know, just stop, you know, stop spreading the negativity and just really spread some positivity. You know, teach, learn, understand, or at least be aware at the very least of, you know, other things. and. Don't bring other people down. No one likes to be down. And if you're doing that to someone, I, you know, I ask you to stop. Please. Well, that really is my two cents on the whole thing. I don't really want to wrap this video up any longer than it should be. But I want to thank you for, you know, making it this far. And, you know, any, necessi any relevant links I will leave in the description below. And please, please, if you haven't already, like this video, subscribe, and, you know, leave a comment if you want to ask any questions regarding gray sexuality, or if you even want to bring up suggestions on other things I should talk about. So, and, you know, just a note is... As I said, hopefully I would definitely be posting a lot more regularly, so you would definitely see me do a lot of like sit down, you know, kind of sit down in front of the camera types of videos, and I'll just talk about what's on my mind, whether it's like social events, political events, recent events, pop culture, uh, personal stories, and events, you know, like I'll just, I'll, I'll, you know, discuss all my thoughts and feelings about that, and... I will definitely, hopefully be a lot more encouraged to, you know, do like kind of day in the life type of vlogs. I, you know, posted a few on this channel already, but I kind of got a little bit self-conscious because, you know, people just kind of stare at the camera, like this, this guy recording himself on a camera. And hopefully I can just get over that anxiety. Um, so you can just kind of just see where, you know, what I'm doing and who I am and I guess how my life really is, you know, outside of the camera. And definitely, this is a definite goal in my mind, is I'll definitely be, hopefully be posting a lot more music covers and maybe at some point even post some of my original songs. You know, if you didn't know, I do song rights. So, um, yeah, I just have to kind of just figure that all out and see where things go. And honestly, I'm really excited. I, you know, can't wait to see where this will go from here. This, I guess, will kind of be like an electronic diary for me, so it'll be interesting to see how much things have progressed since, you know, like my very first video. Alright, well again, thank you so much for watching, and, you know, I hope I will see you in the next video. Until then, have a nice day! Bye!